So I'm making my next Patreon supportive video, which is going to be busting the Hyperloop, a project that might be better described as all the problems of space travel while traveling in a gun barrel at nearly the speed of sound. It's a very simple construct. Start with a tube. We remove a lot of pressure from that tube, so any object moving through it has much less resistance. Then take a pod and put it inside that tube. Use an electric motor to propel it, levitate it using magnets, and as a result of those combination of factors, it can go really fast. So this was just one of the cute demos I came up with of what a vacuum failure might look like on a tiny scale for the poor schmucks actually in the Hyperloop. Now bear in mind, this is merely the acceleration that you can get off about 60 centimeters. That's about two feet of tube. The acceleration she would be likely to get in the event of tube failure on the real Hyperloop would quite literally be like being shot down a gun barrel. So what we've got here, this is gonna be our mini, uh, one, th one um, this is gonna be our mini 100th scale uh, Hyperloop. And there's a little metal ball in there. So we actually zoom in on the little metal pole. Okay. So there's a little metal ball in my mini hyperloop. So that's the glass, as you can see, it's not exactly thin walled glass. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the vacuum here, and then I'm gonna pump it down to the vacuum of the hyperloop, which is about one millibar. So that's one bar at the moment, which is basically one atmosphere. So I've got to get down to about one thousandth of that. That'll be about the pressure of a Hyperloop. And I'll probably only get down to about 10 millibar because that's not the greatest pump, but it's got a nice dia, it's got a nice pressure meter on it. So let's do that first. There we go, perfect. And start. So, just so you know, the pressure on Mount Everest is about 200 millibars, point two of an atmosphere. So we're up to about Mount Everest now. Now we're well above Mount Everest. Bear in mind the pressure of the Hyperloop is going to be about one millibar. So we're 60 times the pressure in the Hyperloop at the moment. So you can see my little ball up here. It also moves around quite happily. Down to 30 millibars, that's about the vapor pressure of water. So what I'll do shortly, once I'm happy that I've got a decent vacuum on there, I'm going to use that and I'm going to scratch the glass here, just, just up here, and then I'm going to crack this vessel open and see what happens. So this is what it looks like filmed at 1000 frames per second and as you can see there's really quite a formidable acceleration there. And bear in mind this is a tiny diameter tube over a short distance, about half a meter. If you had a tube failure on a two meter diameter tube, as with the Hyperloop, over a significant distance, it would quite literally be like being shot down a gun barrel with no way of stopping.